we do our meditation, our practice as a whole, in the context of goodwill. A wish for happiness, a wish for true happiness. I do want to be able to spread goodwill to everybody. And this means people very close to you as well as people very far away. Sometimes the people close to you are a lot harder because you see what they do every day and sometimes it's not all that inspiring, sometimes it's not all that encouraging. And we see a lot of people doing things that are actually really harmful for themselves and other people. But we have to have goodwill for them because otherwise we can't trust ourselves around them. So each time you meditate, you realize you're doing this for the sake of a true happiness. A happiness that doesn't harm them, doesn't harm, harm you. Which is why this practice is special. It's not just kind of resting between your ordinary activities, so you can do your activities, whatever they are, more efficiently. I mean, this is sometimes what you see, people meditating so they can be better whatever, better at their work, better at any activity. But the meditation is supposed to make you stop and think about which, which activities really are worthwhile and which ones are not, which ones are in line with the principle of goodwill and which ones are not. So that way you have to be actually very clearly judging what's proper and what's not proper in line with your principle of goodwill. So it's good to keep this context in mind all the time, because otherwise the meditation just becomes a technique for relaxation or a technique to get rid of some stress. But it's a lot more than that. It's aimed at a happiness that's true, a happiness that's blameless. So think thoughts of goodwill for yourself and spread it around. Spread it all the way out to infinity. And re remember that infinity does, doesn't mean just way out there, but it also means everything close in here as well. There's a passage in Through the Looking Glass where one of the characters says he tries to think of two or three impossible things every morning before breakfast. Well, it's good to think of infinity a couple times every day before breakfast. To think of all the beings in the world and that you're going to be dealing with some of them. And just as in general you want to have a prince of goodwill. For everybody, you want to have, you want to act on the principle of goodwill for the specific people you're going to be encountering as you go through the day. Make it all inclusive like that. And that way, your practice becomes a lot more effective in every aspect of life. <laughs>